Hi, this is Kubrick Lover 1972 responding to D Dina DVD's um, coffee movie tag that he sent me. Um, so, as, as I said uh, in, um, I think, last video I was on, which was a day or so ago, I don't have, mo most of my movies are in storage right now, so I have just a few that I'll show while I'm, you know, um, listing the ones mentioned, you know, for, for the different categories. Um, you know, I have a few of them, but I don't have all of them. And I also, Dean, I, I, I have a little trouble, you know, narrowing it down to just one in each category. Uh, I mean, a few, some of them, yes, you know, I've, I've limited, limited it, it to one movie in each category, but there's a few of them that I have to say, I, I have to add a few more. So, um, in fact, uh, I'm going to add maybe I don't know. I'm sorry, Dean, that I'm I'm giving you so much, but you know it's hard to narrow it down to some some degree. Um, Anyways, you asked for black coffee, a film, a film you love, but it's not easy to get into. And my response, you said 2001, uh, that, you know, that's not an easy film to get into, I agree, and it takes a lot of viewings, I agree. Um, I'm going to choose another Kubrick movie. I'm going to choose Barry Lyndon. Um, Barry Lyndon is beautifully shot. It's one of the most beautifully shot films of all time. Um, Kubrick. Uh, the, the Kubrick box set that I have, it's in storage, but in the documentary, um, Kubrick got Mitchell cameras for that film, and he, he, he got Zeiss lenses from NASA, because they had the widest aperture of any lens at the time, so they allowed in a lot of light, and Barry Lynch, it's a period film, it, you know, it takes place in the 1700s, so, um, there's a lot of candlelight scenes at night, and it's beautiful cinematography. It's just a gorgeous movie. But, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe some people regard it as boring. You know, it's not an easy film to get into. And it's long. It's I think it's about three hours and 15 minutes. But, you know, um, that's the one I would choose. So next, quick, next one is Peppermint Coffee. A favorite Christmas or holiday movie. That one is... That one's easy for me. It's a Wonderful Life with James Stewart, um, where he learns how, how much of an impact he's had on people's lives. Um, you know, and if, if he had never lived, you know, like his, his brother uh, died in World War II. Oh, no, he didn't. Did he die? Um, oh, I know. He wasn't. He didn't say <clears throat> he wasn't there to save his brother's life and as a kid. So those people in the in the platoon or army or whatever, when when George Bailey's brother goes to World War II, their lives are not saved by his brother because his brother died earlier in his life because George Bailey wasn't born to uh, help him out of the freezing water that he fell into like a frozen lake. So, I, you know, that's an easy choice. And, and his, his wife, she becomes like a, a spinster or, a, um, I don't know, uh, just, so, you know, he has a big impact upon his, he, he helps people, you know, has a great rousing finale. And it's, you know, it's a tearjerker and I, I really love it, so. So next one is uh, Hot Chocolate, a favorite children's movie. Well, um, now I'm I'm gonna start to show very a very little of my uh, DVDs and Blu-rays. It's basically DVDs I think that I have here. But um, here here I go with choosing uh, four movies. Te technically, I would choose a fifth. But I'll tell you that one. But <clears throat> anyways, let's go with these. First of all, I would choose The Incredibles, which is just um, 
Maybe not. Which is just infinite, infinitely watchable. Oops, I dropped it there. I have the iPhone in my other hand, see. Um, but, but this film is just watch, very watchable. Um, it's very entertaining, and it, it never d well, dulls. Um, I'm sorry there. Oops. Oh. Sorry, Dan. Hold on a sec. 